I think there's no doubt about it. I adore the soundtrack of Kirby and the Forgotten Land so much that I think it's probably my favorite Kirby soundtrack. And it's probably decently high up there too in terms of uh, games in general, I think. I'm not really sure if it would place in the top five or maybe even the top ten, but it's definitely higher than average, that's for sure. I don't know. I feel as though Nintendo and HAL Laboratory kind of went all out with it. It just... It has no excuses to be this good, and it just is. It's just a Kirby game, for goodness sake. Like, this is a third... Second party, maybe third party developed game, and yet it just hits all of the right angles. I don't know what it is. I couldn't tell you. It just... It's just good. That's all I have to say about it. Hi everybody, Skylar Stardrift here, and welcome back to Kirby and the Forgotten Land. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, let's head over to our card pack before we do our recap. I think I should get into the habit of doing the card pack first, then do the recap because it makes a bit more sense when the game is actually up and running and right now the game is not up and running so all right let's head on over to our card pack Ugh. once again we have a, another you can see alpha room there we we have another pack of that's a bad throw. Uh, Digimon Classic Collection. So let's open that up. Yeah. I did see something shiny at the end of the pack there, but that could be anything. Alright, let's see here. We've got Palmon. Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon with 5,000 DP or less. Angemon, we saw you last time. Tapermon, we saw you last time. Megadramon, I'm pretty sure we've seen you before. Demimon, not too sure about. On deletion, return one purple level 4 or lower Digimon card from your trash to your hand. Ikakumon, we have seen you before. Elecmon, on deletion, one of your opponent's Digimon gains security attack minus 1 for the turn. There we go. Phoenixmon! Security attack plus one, and when attacking, when this Digimon attacks a player, trigger draw two. Plessiomon! I think we've seen you before, but not sure. Your turn. Once per turn. When one of your opponent's Digivolution cards is trashed, trigger draw two. And on your turn, this Digimon can also attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon with no Digivolution cards. We have Gutamon, which we've seen before. We have... And... By the looks of it, an extra one? Oh no, that's that's part of the Okay, that's part of the part of the pack, alright. Uh Seraphimon is our first rare. When did you evolving? Recovery plus one from your deck. And opponent's turn, while this Digimon is suspended, all of your security Digimon get plus five thousand DP. And we've got a secret where rare? A secret where? Uh, Angelmon. When attacking, if you have three or more security cards, one of your opponent's Digimon and all of your opponent's security Digimon get minus 3,000 DP for the turn. Uh, on your turn, once per turn, when a card is added to your security stack, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2,000 DP for the turn. So this actually works really well with Seraphimon, and it's even the same color, but you probably want to keep Angelmon different from Seraphimon. You wouldn't want to play the two... You wouldn't want to play Angelmon and then play Seraphimon, like so. I think you'd want to keep them separate so that Angelmon can attack if you have three or more security cards. Well, I suppose if you do that, when a card is added to your security stack, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2,000 DP for the turn. Yeah, but this is only one digital wing. Right. I don't know. There's probably a way to stack that somehow. 
Maybe I'm not reading it right. Oh no, there's two different colors of card sleeves. Oh no. It's because we're out of the uh, iron, I think that is. God, I don't even remember. Maybe I should just perfect sleeve them instead of using colors. Maybe that's what I should do. Once those run out, once I've got too many, once I've got no sleeves left, I think maybe I should uh, retire using sleeves when doing these card openings. Not that it's going to matter that much anyway, because once we open this pack, or this box, we've only got one box left, so... Anyway... Let's flick on over to Kirby! Alright. Last time, we got through World 2, and I think we started World 3. Uh, World 2 was the beach level. Don't remember exactly what World 3's vibe is. Uh... We also got a bunch more rare stones, which allow us to upgrade our bunker! Oh my goodness. And we have not tested our new bunker yet. Oh boy. I am excited because my bunker has increased in size. There is going to be mass bonking. I assure you of that. Many, many bonks will be had this day. Many bonks indeed. Let's just pack that away there. Get the tables out of the way and preferably out from under my tables under the chair. Thank you, headphones. Let's not get caught under the under the chair, please. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's get this started then. I'm just gonna see if I can move that arm just slightly out of the way there. My boom arm. For my mic boom. Yeah. Hello, Elflin. So what do you think the beast pack wants the Waldies for anyway? I had just gotten to know all of them when the pack arrived and started capturing everyone. Far from the beast's territory, so we thought building a town here would keep us safe. Thank goodness you came along, Kirby. How do you do, Kirby? Would you like to hear the latest info from around the world? You haven't missed any blueprints thus far. If I read about a new blueprints location, I'll help you find it. The most popular Waddle Dee Cafe item is Maxim Tomato. It has it's had 12,101,399 orders. So far, you've saved 103 Waddle Dees. The combined total saved all over the world is 625,273,369 Waddle Dees. Would you like to hear more? I'm good. <laughs> Alright, so I still have a Maxim Tomato. If I leave Kirby sitting in the chair, or standing in the chair long enough, does he sit? Because that would be kind of cute. I don't think he does. That would be adorable if he did. Uh, Alright, let's head inside. I think I've actually got all of the, um, all of the copy abilities now. I don't think I have any more left. To discover, I mean. I think everything has been discovered. And I have a massive hammer!
I wonder if I can knock Mr. Sandbag out of this room and into the uh, main room. No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like he hits an invisible wall. There will be bonking on this day. I flattened him. I flattened him real good. Well, I have my bonker. <laughs> now I have Gasha. <laughs> Treasure chest, I've got one of those. The car shop sign. Hey, a pop flower. You know, I can stop anytime I want. Case in point, because I just stopped. Alright, to the world map. Alright, where are we going today, Kirby? Oh, that's right! Wondaria! Or, well, Wondaria remains anyway. See, now, I'm interested in this. Well, it's an amusement park. There's so many rides here. I can't wait. Um. Hang on. Yes, okay. So I have done those... I have done those challenges. So... We're moving into the Circuit Speedway. Clear the stage and save the hidden waddle So this one does have additional missions. Interesting. Because it looks like this is just going to be a race. Oh, this guy wants a piece of me. Well, he's not gonna have it. <laughs> Look at this hammer! Oh, many bonk! Many, many, many bonk. Can I run onto the track? I totally can. I can just run onto the track willy-nilly as Kirby. I mean, I'm not entirely sure exactly what purpose this serves. If it serves a purpose at all. I know I'm definitely supposed to use the car. wondering if maybe there's like an achievement for basically playing the stage as Kirby. It's interesting how the game hasn't actually penalized me yet. For running it as Kirby. Well, I was expecting an achievement, but there isn't one, so... Let's head all of the way back. We'll grab the car. All of the way back.
Now that I have successfully bonked everything out of the way. <laughs> Hey, nice. So it looks like there's multiple races that I have to do. Oh, why are you why are you attacking me? I don't like bonking you guys. You're too adorable to be bonk. That's the first of four hidden model days. No. <laughs> no. Ha! I wasn't even close to hitting you. Uh oh. <laughs> they really want me to use bomb here. But what if I don't want to use bomb, and I want to use my bunker? Take some food. Ow! Jerk. <laughs> Ooh. Capsule. Give me my gacha capsule. I haven't found a single... Smack. Uh... A single objective yet. Is interesting. Oh, you're gonna make me use bomb, aren't you? That's not fun. Hey, there's the second model, at least. Don't think I don't see that ladder either. Interesting that they give me a invincibility candy there of all places. It's still going too. Okay. Bonk, 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 bonk. Smash! 
Oh, hey, a blueprint. The gigant sword blueprint. About time we can upgrade the sword ability. Take some food. There's another Garsha capsule. I'll take that too. I wonder if maybe I'm supposed to use, like, the bomb. To bowl into enemies as, like, one of the objectives here, maybe. Right, this time. Have to make it in 50 seconds. Let's go. I played the Mario Karts. I know what I'm doing. Oh, I missed it. Somehow or another, I missed it. Not really sure how I missed that. And I'm assuming I can't go back and retry it. No, there is a retry button. Alright. Well, I'll take my third Garsha capsule. And my coins. And then I'll run back. Mission progress and collect those items will revert to their status prior. Okay, that's fine. That's cool though, but it gives you the option and tells you. I think the idea is to take as many shortcuts as possible. Hey, much better. All right, give me that. Give me my money. And that's the fourth Waddle Dee, so I missed the third somewhere. the third is. Ow. This could make it difficult going back. That looks very rammable or hittable. I 
I just held down for that. Oh, it's not gonna work there because I got stopped by the fence. Hi, hey, randomly. Oh, come on in. There is a... Alright. I'm going to have to take the long way around in order to get back, but that's fine. Because that means my bunk! Ha! My bunk! Multi-bunk! Bonks shall be had. Bug! <laughs> that car just popped in. Okay. Alright. I don't know exactly what I missed. Bug! see anything that I missed. Bunk. 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 Coin. I wonder then if there's something else that I'm missing. Which, there has to be, right? Hmm. Something over that side. There's nothing up here. <laughs> Trying to inhale a movable object. Very rammable one, I don't know. Ow. I guess you're not as rammable as I thought. Hmm. Well, I definitely missed a Waddle Dee. Oh, I'm sorry, you were sleeping. I, I could have not bonked you. That's a big one. I don't think we've seen that color before. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Hang on. Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna have to check the missions on that one. Kirby! Reach the first race's goal within 20 seconds. Okay. Hey! Fire Kirby! This ability is hot, hot, hot. Light fuses, burn through obstacles, and toast your enemies with the power of a raging fire. Run, jump, then attack to blast forward as a fireball. Wild Frosty! The mysterious vortex brought Mr. Frosty to the new world too. 
He arrived shortly before Kirby and immediately joined the Beast Pack. The change in wardrobe must have made it an easy choice. It's tough to be the new guy, but his fellow beasts love working with him. Swish! Sling that sharp-edged boomerang. Use it to grab far-off items. Hold the button down to freeze it in midair and charge it up. That'll make it extra powerful. Swish! Invasion of the House of Horrors. Two more red gems opened up. Cut a treasure, line them up, toss and return. Remember, we're not bothering for the time, we're just trying to complete the mission here. That's what it wants me to do. Throw bunk. <laughs> That's gonna... Oh, it did. Alright, cool. Stand over the other side, hang on. Ah! Nice, there we go. Cool, I just need the red gem, that's all I need, yeah. Not caring about the, uh, about the time, because it doesn't get me anything really. It just gets me more coins. Fire treasure! Burn over the belts, convey a dash. There we go. That one wasn't too bad. Hey, got the tiger time at least. Yeah, see, it only gives you an extra couple of coins, so I'm not really that keen on it. If that's all it's gonna do, then I don't really care about hitting the target times. Take the rest stone though. Let's head to Waddle D Town and make that next blueprint because we got the blueprint for the um for the sword. Was that a gigant sword blueprint? I want to make that. Gimme, gimme. All right, let me get my tools ready. Then we'll get this evolution started. Let's do it. Upgrade this one, please.
The sword ability has evolved into Gigant Sword. I have a bigger sword! Oh my god. To shield yourself while using the Gigant Sword, just press L and R. You can still move while you guard. It's hard to choose. There are so many. But this big old sword is definitely gigantic. It's a bit hard to swing around, but it'll keep you well guarded. Use it to shield yourself from one from an attack, then go on the offensive. But I like my big bunker. Although that is a that is a big bunker itself. I must admit. <laughs> You've collected all currently available figures from Volume 1. Really? Have I? But what about these ones? There's six still here. What about those ones? What do you mean? Well, maybe, maybe they're, uh, maybe they're, uh, only available in levels. That's what I was trying to say. Maybe they're hidden throughout the levels and they're the ones you've got to find. Maybe, I don't know. Hi, Papa Lynx, welcome on in. Right, we gotta reach the first race's goal within 20 seconds. Hmm. Look at how cute those little guys are. <laughs> you are prime for bonking. So, we have to reach the first race's goal within 20 seconds. Remember, you can retry as many times as you like. That's gonna be hard! galaxy welcome on in that's gonna be hard I did that in 19 hmm how oh, are you I'm I'm doing well how about yourself that's gonna be hard how in the hmm. I didn't see any shortcuts good to hear. Only thing I can think of is that maybe hitting stuff messes me up and maybe I'm supposed to clear the path first? I mean... Better? Not by much though. That is... I don't know how much improvement I can make on that. Even as a, I would, I want to say expert slash professional, and I'm definitely not, but I want to say it anyway. Even as a, let's just say experienced. Let's go with that. Even as a experienced veteran of Mario Kart, I don't know if I can physically improve this any more than I can. I mean, that was good. That's really all I can think of, just cutting a few corners there. There we go! 
Reach the first race's goal within 20 seconds. Done it! Now I believe that's the first cage. Oh! Bulldust, that should have hit you. Fine. <laughs> I don't like hitting you guys, so don't come after me. You're too cute to be bonked. You know what? I don't like losing my bonk ability, but I'm willing to bet that I'm supposed to be using bomb here. I don't know, it just... I feel like I'm supposed to be. Because it's, well, it's here. And I feel like, perhaps, this could be the second mission. I'll take that. That leads to the hidden room where the second model is. Now we already have the second model day. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake! <laughs> and this is why I prefer bonking. <laughs> Fibbled edge while using an invincibility caddy. Yeah, I kind of figured that would be it. <laughs> now, can I... No, I can't go over that side. That's why I sort of realized and rushed at the last second. I was like, oh dear. <laughs> Holy hell. Give me my gosh. Aha! That's where the third model D was. Perfect. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Don't know what the last mission is, but I'm willing to bet it's something to do with the last race. Something tells me it means going even faster than I did before and taking all of the shortcuts. Right, avoid. Avoid all of the enemies, jump over that. Boost through the cardboard shortcuts. It wasn't even time related. I thought it was. <laughs> Grab my gash upon and that'll do it.
You know, I expected to have to replay that level at least two more times in order to see those other uh, objectives there. But no, one playthrough was enough and we got through it all. Car Mouth Kirby. Car Mouth Kirby. And little Elflin. Cool. All right. Save the water these there. Of course I want to return to... Of course I want to return to Waddle Dee Town. I don't have my bonker! I have my... I have a... I have a bonker, but it's not the bonker. Give me my bonker back. <laughs> this is good. But I like this. <laughs> Lebunk. <laughs> I don't know, there's just something about hammers that are just so fun to use. At least in Kirby games, anyway. Oh, that is the wrong button. What I need to do is head over to the invasion at the House of Horrors. Hey, Kirby, where should we go next? We should head over here. Ooh, this is gonna be spook. I have noticed those little dogs up in the top. Like, the one there in the rocket ship in the portrait. And, like, they have... Usually they're pretty happy. This guy actually looks a little scared. Oh, that... Oh! Oh, I like that entrance. Although, I think IRL, that would probably make me slightly motion sick. I mean, even just looking at it there, it kind of made me feel just slightly queasy. And I do mean very slightly. You know, you almost made me jump. My hair... Well, sorry, I should say, I should correct myself there. My fur definitely stood on end when you popped out like that. Probably should check you guys to see if you guys actually have a power up, but I doubt it. Ow. Give me that. Give me my bunker back. Whoop. Eat three of the ghosts' hidden snacks. Okay. Have I missed one? Don't think I have. Yeah, there's no way around that one, so I haven't missed any yet. Alright. I'll just keep an eye on that. Smush. I find it funny how there's like aliens here and then it's ghosts that are actually coming after us to try and attack us. Yeah, don't think I didn't see that one, game. Give me my first wobble day. Bonk. <laughs> Ooh, 
interesting spooky music. Have a mouthful of that one, Kirby. Let's illuminate. Make Napford Station shine. No one's gonna get that, only I will get that. <laughs> This sounds like Pokemon music. Like you're exploring a dungeon or something. Hmm, that's not a hidden ghost snack apparently. Gasha. Oh, interesting. He can't see me if I'm not shining. Interesting. Also, the inside of Kirby's mouth there looks bloody creepy. Gosh, uh, there's two of them there. Whoop! Ow. Ow. I just wanted to go back here and just see if I was missing something. I don't think I was. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Okay, what have we got in here? Nice. Oh, my hammer! Mm. Had to give up my hammer for that. Not necessarily pleased about that, but time to be done, I suppose. Clever. That counts as one of the ghost's hidden snacks, but it's not even hidden. Okay. Do I still need the, um... No, I don't. Clearly not. <laughs> hmm. You know, maybe now would be the perfect time to see if you actually... You don't give me anything. <laughs> okay. Oh, did not mean to spit that out. Oh well, never mind. Guess I'm going powerless. Hmm.
<laughs> Can't pull a fast one on me, ghosts. Although I kind of wish that had more in it. <laughs> it didn't actually have anything inside worthwhile. <laughs> Alright, well, there's no hidden snacks around here, so... Come here! For anybody wondering, yes, I do know those walls are fake, but... Ow! You absolute jerk. Hang on, you're respawning. Why are you respawning? Let me get rid of that. I want you. Crash! There's another Gasha. I will take that. Not missing anything, am I? No? There's our third piece of food. As soon as I saw that, I was like, yeah, that's probably it. The first one was actually the hardest one to find. Hang on a moment. What's in here? A blueprint! The Time Crash Blueprint. Interesting. Spikes! Vending machine! Willing to bet there's some, something to do with shooting the ghosts in this part. <clears throat> so we're 13 aliens by using the vending mouth. And got the third one already? Nope, that's the fourth. <laughs> All right, so we'll have to replay the stage then. Because I don't know where the third Waddle Dee is. <clears throat> we got everything except that first mission. Clear without touching any Ghost Gordos, right. We captured Waddle Dee? Bandana Waddledy. Blue Star Coin. <clears throat> that, um, the last few Volume 1 Gashas might be uh, mini bosses or big bosses that we haven't faced yet. Maybe. I'm just shooting Wondaria Dream Parade. Just shooting blanks here. Pressing the wrong button tonight. Sword treasure! Slash wisely, the rope cutting quiz. This 
one's the one that we want. And if we want to go for time, we need to go not that way. Okay. I did not expect that. <laughs> That's what we need. Oh my god. Yeah, definitely didn't do that in the target time, but that's fine. That's okay. Say, did it just get dark over there? Toss him, hit the bomb blocks. Oh, come on. There we go. actually a little disappointed and the reason I say that is because this bomb treasure area this looks like a level and it looks like this would be a really 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 fun level focused on roller coasters and stuff but no instead we get a rare treasure out of it and that's it uh, the Wonderia Dream Parade, we don't need that just yet, we need to return to the Invasion of the House of Horrors, but let's return to the city first. Or what are the town, I should say, it's not a city. At least not yet it's not a city. But we've got another blueprint to turn in. I feel like we have all of the, uh, services here in Waddle Dee Town. Where's the crash ability? There you are. Evolve this one.
Crash ability has evolved into Time Crash. That was a very, uh, very epic song there. What was that all about? If you continuously defeat enemies while Time Crash is active, time will be stopped for a longer duration. Sure, this... Nope. We didn't think the Crash Abilities Boom could get any biggest error, but this one can break time itself. Slow down time, then act fast to cause some real destruction. Interesting, that's how it works. Give it. Give my bunker back. So, we just have to save one Waddle Dee and clear without touching any Ghost Gordos. I think we can do that. Bunk, bunk. Bunk, bunk. Smush. Now, I think this is the first Wobble Bee, isn't it? Alright, that's the first wall will be. Find the second Wobbly as well. As my second Gasha. Hmm. 
And this was the second model D, wasn't it? Okay, so in between here and the vending machine at the end of the stage is where the third waddle dee will be. Okay, don't just jump off the edge there. Okay. Sure, where this third wobble dee might be. Why does the camera pan here so quickly? Not really too fussed about losing the uh, thing there. The crash ability, I should say. Where is Waddle Dee? There should be a Waddle Dee. Unless, do you think? Maybe it only appears under certain circumstances. Hang on. Did I miss something in here, maybe? No? Doesn't look like it. don't know where this last waddle dee is. I'm gonna keep looking around a bit. I feel like I should have found him by now.
surely. Because it's during that vending machine ride that is the fourth level day. So where is the third? This could be the first model day that I have to look up. Because I don't have a clue. And I can't go back any further than that. I'm gonna have to look this one up because I actually have no idea. In the model days. Let's find it. Wait. No, apparently I... Mm, right, okay. That's what happened. Well, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to exit the stage. That's what happened. So it turns out that the third Waddle Dee I had already found, I had him from the bonus room. That wasn't the second Waddle Dee, that was the third Waddle Dee in the bonus room. And that was the one that I missed. So what was the first one then? Yeah, that's the first one. No, the second model D is that one. See, next it will go, go through it. Oh, okay, no, I did miss the third one. Okay, I was reading the guide roll. Right. Did indeed miss the third one. Didn't even see that hidden pathway, but there is a hidden pathway in the dark area. Right, let's try that again. Special kind of bonking reserve for you, buddy. There. Yep. Smush. Remember, we don't want to touch any Gordos either. Which is easy enough.
Oh well, my gosh. I suppose it's not that detrimental, really. I mean, considering the fact that I already have all the figures anyway, apparently. So I don't think I can get any more. I think... I think the rest are just bosses and stuff. Right, that's what I was supposed to do. Now I see. Okay. There's the last Waddle Dee. Grab the extra bit of food there too, just in case I need it. Cool. me back to full health. I love that because this hammer is so big, the range on it has significantly gone up. It's like, gasha, not that it matters much. Yeah, I think I need to encounter those enemies before I can... Need to encounter all the enemies before I can actually open the Garsha Soul of them. I've been watching a let's play of um, Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards and uh, interestingly enough oh I missed that one <laughs> never mind um interestingly enough you can actually play through a stage part of the way through and then stop playing that stage you know like for example if you miss one of the three crystal shards in the stage uh, you can go back, grab the crystal shard you're missing, and then immediately leave the stage. It's interesting that this game doesn't allow you to do that. Like, you have to complete the uh, level in order to save the missions. Big Gabu. Two more Waddle Dees and all Waddle Dees saved. Very nice. The Wandaria Dream Parade. Let's do it to it. What have we got this time? Abandoned theme parks normally scare me. However, this one's been fun so far. Hmm. Man. Old computers. Uh, 
I think all hell's gonna break loose when I hit this switch. It's hiding secrets! <laughs> hmm. Need to be careful. Once again, some stellar soundtrack from this game. Ow, I just got run over by a train. My goodness, I did it again. <coughs> Give me my bunker back. I'm not gonna make that. Hi, little duckling. I'm guessing you need to be taken to your mom. Are there any others? Did I miss some? Ow! It's fine, little duckling. I'm made of rubber. Duckling check. Mm, nope. Alright. Definitely didn't miss any by the looks of it. You gotta be careful, though. They are sneaky and hidden. But it doesn't look like I've missed any yet. Wait, did the duckling despawn? No, I'm gonna restart that because the duckling despawned. Despawned or was crushed. So I'm gonna have to restart it. That's a shame. Oh well. Had I known the ducklings were gonna appear there, I would have done something about it a bit sooner, but. Oh well. Never mind. Does suck a little because now the stage doesn't have quite the same impact. Whoa, that was lucky. I wonder if the duckling despawned because I got hit by the train. That is entirely possible. Lost ducklings find their mama. Five out of five. Nice. Hmm, 
something over here too. Aha! A hidden model D. There are five in this stage, and that's only the first. Seems as though we've got a long way to go for this one. Okay. I was gonna say you're a new ability, but no, you're not. I've actually had Tornado before. However, I think the game really wants me to use Tornado. Sad. No bonk. No bonking for curb. Oh, I don't get crushed when I'm using Tornado. At least not from that train, so that's interesting. Duly noted. And don't think I don't notice what I'm supposed to do here. Or at least what I think I'm supposed to do. Yep. That's how I do the 555. Five. Five. <laughs> yeah. exactly what I thought. Sometimes it helps to observe your surroundings a little bit. There's the second Model D, so I haven't missed one yet. Game, that's not fair. Game, that is not fair. Typhoon Plume! Coming in with a raid. Thank you so much. Welcome on in, everybody. My name is Skyler Stardust. I'm a variety streamer, and tonight we are playing some Kirby in the Forgotten Land, and I missed the Waddle Dee, it's up there! And I can't go back for it, the game is being cruel. So I have to play through the whole stage again. Okay, not sure I like this. Greetings. Thank you again, Typhoon, for the little... Is it Typhoon or Typhoon? I think we've had this discussion before. <laughs> I'm bad with names, I apologize. Um, what were you playing tonight, anyway? Typhon. Okay. Done. I read it as Typhoon. And I don't just mean that because I'm using the Tornado ability. <laughs> or was using. The tornado ability. Whoop! Ow! That hurt. Power Wash Simulator co op with my wife. Oh, nice! I've not actually played Power Wash Simulator myself. 
But I think that's because I don't like doing chores. <laughs> I have a mouthful of water! Bleh. Oh, I'm a 40k DLC coming for it soon. So that is what got my interest. Oh! That's interesting. Kirby, you just emptied your mouthful of water to get another mouthful of water. Ow! Oh! You absolute jerk. Missing something with this? I feel like I am. Let me just get that out of the way. Ow! Alright, there's something I'm missing there. And I'm not entirely sure what it is. There has to be... What else can I do with water? That's what I'm supposed to do. Blech. That gets me the fourth Waddle D, so I missed one. Bugger. And a blueprint! The Floor Tornado blueprint. Alright, well, how far back can I go? Since I have missed a, uh... Ow. <laughs> Since I've missed an ow. Since I missed a waddle bee. I don't suppose I can go any further back than this, can I? <gasps> what? That was close. Put you on the big TV years. Now you're a TV star, at least in Tasmania. <laughs> well, I can't go back and rescue that last Waddle Dee, so... That's a- OW! Shame. I think it's time to use my uh, my maximum to mana. <laughs> I I think I should I think I should use it. Because <laughs> otherwise I am going to die. Immediately run over. Hey, 
Hey, that's the fifth bottle day. So it's only the third one that I'm missing. But I feel like I'm gonna have to play through the stage again anyway. Whoop! Yeah. Definitely feels like I'm gonna have to play through the stage again because I definitely missed some missions. You know, good idea getting a drink of water there, Kirby. Elphalyn had a wanted poster? I did not even see it. Did not even see that. Alright, well, if you say so, I'll see if I can find it. Get it, Waddle Dee! I like how I only need 21 Waddle Dees, but it's so easy to find so many more. Danger under the big top. Like, I have over, over a hundred Waddle Dees at this point. And I reckon just by completing the stages, you get three Waddle Dees mm. per stage. So I feel as though you're definitely going to have enough from this area, almost like the last two areas alone. Not even including the first area. Remember, this is World 3, so you would definitely have enough Waddle Dees. 21 seems very small for this stage of the game. Feels like it should be a lot more than that. I didn't equip my bonker. Well, now I'm just upset. What am I doing here? Uh, <laughs> remove Elflin's wanted poster. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled and let me know if you find that wanted poster, because I didn't see it. I was too busy getting run over by the parade. This level just gives me Sonic Colors vibes. Don't you think? You know, despite the fact that I'm upset that I don't have my bonker, I think using the drill might be a better idea in this particular stage. when I'm not jumping off a cliff. Ow. Give my drill back. I did not realize that I had walked through that door. Oh, you know what? I know which Waddle Dee I missed. It's in this room. So now it's just Elflin's poster that I need to remove. Followed by whatever the other two extra uh, pieces are. I'm just gonna do a check in this room to see if Elfman's one of the poster is here. Hmm, no, it doesn't look like it.
Okay. That gets me the last waddle I forgot that I missed you. There's Elf on this wanted poster as well. I see it. final mission is something like get through the final area without taking damage from the parade or something stupid. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead with the drill so that I can duck and hide. If necessary. I thought that might actually be some kind of platform, but it's not. You know, all things considered, this level wasn't actually that long. Clear without stepping on any mud. Oh, I did it. <laughs> I didn't even... There was mud in that stage? Oh, right, in the tornado bit. That didn't even, it didn't even register. I was like, wait, there's mud? Oh, I mustn't have, I must have stepped on some. No, I, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> right. Tornado ability can be evolved. You haven't missed any blueprints thus far. This week's world record for the final race in Circuit Speedway is... 27.800. So far, the total number of Wolfies you've defeated is 286, and a combined total of 1,885,810,363 Wolfies have been defeated worldwide. Goodness, Cabby, you'd love to stay informed, don't you? To reward your insatiable hunger for knowledge, I'd like to give you this special figure! Huzzah! Ha 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 ha! Wise Waddle Dee! When you need wisdom, visit Wise Waddle Dee. He always has a tip handy and seems to know a lot about this new world. His magical encyclopedia can collect and share rankings from all over the world. Where did he even find that book? Anytime you'd like to learn more, I'll be more than happy to share. Blueprint. Right. 
I wonder how many copy abilities can, like, well, not can be, but like how many evolutions there are. I mean, considering I suppose I'm only in World 3, I'm assuming each each one probably has like three, maybe four? And to Floor Tornado, this evolution will allow you to enter the portal for the Floor Tornado treasure in Wondaria Remains. Go try it out. There was a thing. Grace, elegance, beauty, and brutal attacks. Pull your enemies into a flurry of feathers and turn battles into sophisticated ballets. Ow! That's almost as much as pointy shoes. So that must be the figures that I'm missing, huh? I got the chef. Welcome to World of the Cinema. Great timing. We're premiering a new movie today. I got the cafe one. I wonder if the secret figures have got like anything to do with the facilities around the water in the town. I'm willing to bet that I need to put in the uh, secret passcodes found throughout the town for that one. Alphalin would let me know if there was any secret codes, though. And I'm not seeing any more. I'd like a maximum to map there. And I would like to take it to go. Thank you. Kevy, okay, I got a special order for you. Ding! Order up! It's a special figure. I want you to have it. Thanks for being such a great customer. Aha. Ha ha ha. Cafe staff Waddle Dee. This short order cook loves to feed his fellow Waddle Dees at the cafe in town. He even kept them fed after they crashed in the new world. His cooking smells so good, which is how the beast pack found them. Now that the cafe has been rebuilt, it's time to get to work. So, okay. So there must be one for every special model be then. And if that's the case, how do I get all of the others? So there must be one for the post guy, and there must be one for the, um, cinema guy as well. To the arrival point. Hmm. 
I am curious. Let me, let me have a look. Right, so the only ones I'm missing are the special figures, and I am still missing a few of them. Okay. But, enter five present codes at Waddle Dee Liveries. Hmm... Right, I'm gonna use this guide to see where the uh, hidden codes are. There's one that we can't get yet. By the magazine rack on the right. Ooh, there's a strange message in this pamphlet. Kirby story. This must be the hidden present code. Kirby's 
story. Checks out, your delivery present is already on its way. Thank you. Three hundred star coins. Very nice. Um, can we go on May stand on the flower pots on top of the Wallaby Cafe? Favorite, should we get one to go? <laughs> Yep, there we go. Huh? There's something written here. Kirby the Gourmet. Is this a hidden present code? Kirby the Gourmet. Cool. <laughs> Hold on a sec, Kirby. I have one other present to deliver to you directly this time. I want to thank you for using model deliveries so often. So here's a special figure just for you. Cool. This dutiful delivery D works for Waddle D deliveries in town. He gets helpful items to your doorstep with blinding speed. Kirby's handwriting makes it hard to read the present code sometimes, but this kind soul approves the orders anyway. Upgraded the tornado, so I think we're all good to go. Sword treasure. Full tornado tre treasure. Swallow and twirl. Turn the windmills. Actually needed this. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't see any difference between this tornado and the last tornado. I've got to be honest.
Definitely didn't do that one in time, but at least I got the rare gem. That one's a little tough. I think that's all of the... Yep, looks like all of the rare gems hit. Oh, hello. Hidden portal to a treasure road. Let's see what's inside. Are there more of them? That's interesting. Okay. With gusto, turn the windmills. I died. <laughs> I died. <laughs> okay. Take it. Hmm. That makes me think, though, that there might be more. Move it up! Yeah, okay, so there's a... It looks like there's a hidden area in each... Um, there's a hidden uh, treasure road in each area. Gotta go that way. This one's gonna go that way. That one's gotta go there. That's tricky. 
Oh my giddy art. Well, clearly you've got to move there. You can't move there. Okay, great. Hmm. Bloody hell. I might fail this one. This guy is no good at logic puzzles. Right, you've got to move in there. Got to spit you out there for the moment. You've got to move there. You've got to move that way so that I can access this guy. Let's park him. I don't understand. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna complete this one because I don't get it. Are you supposed to go... You're supposed to go there, aren't you? Yeah, I know, game, but you've given me a tough challenge, so give me a minute. Alright, I think this one goes... There. Fine. Alright, just as I figured it out. <laughs> this one's gonna be tricky. Right, that's one. This one's gonna move over this way. And that one's gonna move there. You've got to go this way. That's easy enough. Ow. There we go. Okay. There we go, all right. <laughs> That's definitely a tricky one, huh?
Sweet success, Invincible Rampage. If I hadn't gone back to take care of that, uh, Scarfy, I probably would have cleared that. First and rise, a path full of pipes. I'm actually kind of glad that I discovered this one I did. Because we don't have to backtrack that far. Oh, really? Also, wow, they did not give me a lot of time on this one. Got it there. If I hadn't gotten hit there, I would have been okay and probably would have been able to do that one. Shots of Ending Adventure. Darn it. Also, the vending machine can heal you because it throws out cans. 
and you can actually t grab the cans. Also, I got the target time. Didn't think I did because I got hit there. Which bounces you back and stalls for time. Okay, so does every location have two extra treasures then? Maybe? Looks like it. That's bottle detail in there. Whoosh! Oh, it's that thing. There we go. Okay, so there, it looks like there's two hidden portals in every world. That's what I'm getting at. Also, I think my VC... Oh, no, there it goes. I was going to say, my, I think my VC face froze. Roll and jump. Something about... I think it's a pipe path. Not sure. I didn't pay much attention. Yep. Roll and jump. Pipe ramp path. Do I have to kill the little wolfies? I might kill him. They're too adorable. Smush! How far back did that put me? You want me to jump their game, but then you're telling me not to jump. If I hadn't fallen off there, I probably would have made that one. I think those ones are probably easier to make than the actual copy ability ones, <laughs> to be honest. Oh well, that gives me some more rare stones to play with anyway. Starting to run a little low on them and was getting a little worried. Danger under the big top! Let's see, what copy abilities does this fight recommend? Sword, guns, or bombs. I think I'll go with gun for now. I'll try gun and see if that unlocks anything. No bunker. Chloraline? Can we talk about this? I guess not. This was not what I was expecting.
Definitely not the boss I was expecting. <laughs> I was expecting, like, something more sinister. To do with a big top. Bloody hell! Okay. Alright, yep. <laughs> Definitely redeemed there, alright. Whoa! There's definitely going to be a no damage challenge on this boss. I can feel it. Of all things, that was definitely not what I expected. I expected like a clown or a weird jack-in-the-box thing or... <sighs> not a leopard. The pencil drill blueprint. That was definitely unexpected. I still feel as though all of these bosses are easier than the first guy. The tree was easier than the gorilla. The, um, this one was, uh, hit high up... Chloraline using Ranger. Right, so I was supposed to target her there. Okay. <coughs> oh, bloody hell. Suddenly, there's a second area. Good gravy. Model D Town has grown even bigger. You don't say. Oh no. <laughs> gotcha Machine Volume 2 is now available. Coliseum is now open for battle. Fight bosses and rivals you faced in the past to win glorious prizes. Meta Knight, hi buddy. Waiting for me in the Colosseum, huh? Drill ability can be evolved. I was, uh, something called the Meta Knight Cup. Let's enter. to work. Oh my god, it's a pencil. You would think that the drill would come first and the pencil would come second. This drill evolution is mighty in graf graphite E. It's not ideal for writing, but you can use it to launch out of the ground and shoot out pencil rockets. Now, that's the right stuff. Oh my god. Wait, I need the range, don't I? And I definitely need to heal. Luckily, I didn't use my, um... Deliver a present arrived at the pres this present code. Kirby the Gourmet. I 
go sleepy. I think after playing this game, what I need is an Elphalin figure and a, uh, a Wolfie figure. <laughs> and then, then I'll be happy. <laughs> This was not what I was expecting. Uh, there's 145 and 180. I've got 137 right now. Welcome to the Colosseum's reception area. You can enter tournaments here and battle a rush of former bosses. If you make it all the way to the end and come out on top, you win a special reward. And that's not all. We seem to have an unexpected warrior using our first tournament as a training. All the way from Planet Popstar, stuck in this new world like us. That's right, it's Mana Knight. So, are you going gonna enter the tournament too? Not right now. <laughs> I kind of want to finish off this first boss first. Then I might enter the tournament. Winter Horns. Bit of the boss and opened up a new area. What's cold? Northeast Frost Tree. I can't just jump right on into the ring. Okay. If I shoot my ranger at you, you'll die. So I'll just do that. <laughs> Clear within a minute 30. So I got that one too. Defeat without hovering. Okay. Interesting. Okay. 
So I've used the um, I've used the specific power up. I've used the uh, I've gotten the time limit. So I just have to defeat without hovering. What I'm actually going to try and do as well is to do it without uh, do it without a copy ability because that's also something that might trigger it. And I feel as though this fight is kind of doable without a copy ability, so... Oh, I hovered. You can't hover. Okay. Round two. Defeated without hovering, and defeated with no copy abilities. Now, if it was damage, then yeah, I'm gonna have to do that again. <laughs> Clear without taking any damage. Yep. Well, now that I can hover again, it should be a little bit easier to do that. <laughs> but then I suppose we can move on to the tournaments in the uh, arena. with no power-ups. It seems to be the easier way to do it. <clears throat> it's just the fact that I couldn't hover last time, which was killing my, uh, To re have to redo it, took damage. I 
I do wish there was a retry option for bosses. That would be nice. I wonder if I can keep what's in my mouth. And use that as immediate damage. Let's find out. No, it doesn't look like it. No, I can! Nice! Easy bit of damage, nice off. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, round two. Here we go. damage from the pounce. I should have expected it, but like I was too busy focused on gathering the knives so that I could do massive damage. So this one's just going to be a waiting game. Unfortunately. I'll take this and do a free bit of damage nice and easy. You just did a previous stinker. Did you just went to the toilet? Right. Take that. <laughs> the sign just bonks off. Oh, ball dust! Okay, this boss is this boss is kind of unfair for doing no damage. How am I supposed to dodge that attack? I'm gonna try it one more time without using a power up, and then if I can't do it, I'm going to use the um, the sword copy ability because the uh, guard gives me spikes on the front. So, I'm going to do that instead. The only problem is that using that is not a ranged attack, so I'm going to have to get up close and personal to her. Something that I would rather stay away from, since she's melee based. Bonk!
Did a little bit of extra damage there. Maybe, like, talk about your use of knives. Oh, come off it! Ah. Uh, I was not expecting her to do a dive bomb immediately. I was expecting more knives. Fine. Fine! We're about to find out if this uh, sword ability is impervious to damage. Especially when using the guard ability. If it's not, then back to the drawing board, but I hope it is. We're gonna have to do a lot harder than that. cleared without taking any damage. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was gonna say, if that doesn't count, I'll be mighty peeved. <laughs> Also, that makes this sword incredibly powerful, because it means you can take a front-on damage hit and not get any attacked. Or not get attacked by it, so it can save your health. Save all the Wondledees and Wonder Wondaria remains. Alright, let's head back to Waddledee Town. Hi Marcus, welcome on in. You want to speak to me? How do you do, Kirby? Would you like to hear the latest info from around the world? Ah, this blueprint is a tournament prize within the Colosseum. And I say, car mouth cake. Did you get a bit hungry? That item has been eaten 5,669,006 times so far. For pot flowers, you've helped 107 bloom during your adventure. The combined total of bloomed pot flowers all over the world is 
851,438,789. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> Alright. I think I'm good with the copy ability that I have because of the guarding ability. I can even move slightly whilst guarding, so... Unfortunately, it does mean no bonk. I was going to take the bonk, but I think for the Colosseum, guarding is probably going to be... Uh, necessary. Yeah, the crowd cheering from all the way out here. Meta Knight Cup. Six battles. Okay, you're officially entered in the Meta Knight Cup. It's about to get intense in there. I can't wait. The entrance to the Colosseum is right over there. Prepare for some tough battles and head on in. Now entered in the tournament. The Meta Knight Cup. So you're given six maximum tomatoes. Plus whatever you have in stock. Here we go, folks! Kobe has entered the arena! Ranger in sleep. Oh god! Kirby may never be stopped! What is the secret to his colossal strength? Hello boss that I was just facing like two minutes ago. Kirby's offense has made his opponent get desperate. Things are about to get tough. Except I know your attacks, Coraline. So, take that. Clap and cheer our heroes here! Kirby's ready for another round! <laughs> Get out of here.
Tropic Woods, Kirby's Martial Might is everyone mesmerized. What will he do next? Cut a tree down to size. Hang on to something, folks. Kirby's fire is about to go all out. Watch out, Kirby! Ow. Nice. I'll take the, uh, take the heal on this one. This battle's heating up and the crowd is going wild! Kirby's offense has made his opponent desperate. Things are about to get tough. Right, forgot about this part. Nice! Kirby just got in there and got it done. <laughs> Grab it! So <laughs> The Longs the Lone Swordsman Meta Knight. Sound of this, the final battle! Whatever you do, don't get up for stacks now! This battle's about to get way more intense! Keep those eyes aimed at the arena, folks! I see Meta Knight's learned a few new tricks! Yeah? Take that, Meta Knight! POW! <laughs> See ya, Meta Knight. <laughs> victory in the Meta Knight Cup. Whoa, a stunning victory over the Lone Swordsman. Meta Knight, Kirby wins! Congratulations on a stunning victory, Kirby. Here's your hard won reward. 500 star coins! A rare stone! The Meta Knight Sword Blueprint! Oh my god, I just got the Sword of, sword of Blueprint. <laughs> I just got the Sword Blueprint and now they're giving me the Meta Knight Sword Blueprint. Okay. <laughs> Alright then. Is that a Meta Knight Sword Blueprint?
Meta Knight Sword. If you swing the Meta Knight Sword with full health, you'll attack with a Crescent Shot wave. If you have two health bars, you can keep slinging Crescent Shots until the first bar is depleted. Press L and R and A to Sword Slide. Follow with A, then rapidly press B to do an upper caliber attack. So press L and R, then A to do a sword slide. Follow with A, then rapidly press B. Oh my god. This Meta Knight Sword does a bunch of cool attacks, just like its namesake. Sword slide, jump, and attack to use upper caliber. With full health, you'll even sling crescent shots. What is it? You set each ability to your preferred form. That changes every instance of that ability to match. A then B. Feels very situational. <laughs> There's another model be signed over there for 155. Please, what's up? I bet they'll wait back. Let's say hi. It's just fun running around saying hi to all the waddle -dees. <laughs> I can't say hi to Ellie Flynn though. Oh, he's watering the flowers! Gigant sword! This big old sword is definitely gigantic. It's a bit hard to swing around, but it'll keep you well guarded. Use it to shield yourself from an attack that can go on the offensive. Gigazzo! Milk bottle! Ghost Gordo. You know, I could stop. Face cutout photo stand. Fish. Blooming flowers.
One dog and one day. Wondari is founder based the park's most popular characters on their own two dogs, One Dog and Wondi. These two friends travel through the cosmos together in their stories, working as a team and having all kinds of wild adventures. That'll do for now. I think I got a few. Still missing one, two, three. But I think they're requirements for certain things, so. Now, hmm. It is 10.50, should we do another stage or should we call it there? This feels like a very good ending spot. He's watering all the flowers. Oh, he tripped! He tripped! Oh no! You okay, buddy? Poor little guy tripped over! Oh. Oh. Poor little guy. Yeah, I'm not sure if, um... Hmm. What's the time like? Well, we have been going for three hours. Just over. Uh, hmm. No, I think this is a good stopping point. I think this is a good time to stop. We've gotten all of the Waddledees up to this point, so... I think this is where we should stop for tonight. Alright. Still enjoying this game. I definitely find the first... The second and third bosses, ironically enough, to be less frustrating than the first. Which is funny because the first one is the one that they used in all the trailers and such. But, I don't know, it just feels weird that the second and third bosses felt easier overall. Even with all of the different abilities and such. Oh, he tripped again! I saw that little guy. Oh, he tripped. Also, he's wandered away from the flowers completely now. Anyway, uh, so I guess next time we'll be moving on to World 4. I'm actually not sure how many uh, worlds there are in the game. So, I'm assuming that Nintendo Logic, which tells me there's going to be 8 worlds. So, where... We might be around halfway done? Maybe? I'm not actually sure. All I know is that my uh, power has gone up astronomically with all the blueprints that I've been finding. So, we'll soon hit another wall, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I'm still enjoying this game, so I'm still happy to continue. So, we'll definitely be picking this up next week. Uh, in the meantime, however, we'll be playing some more Super Mario All-Stars on Monday night. We finished Super Mario Bros. 2 uh, on Monday night this week. So next week we'll be playing Super Mario Bros. 3 a bit more, because we started that one. I'm not sure if we'll finish that, but we'll certainly give it my best shot. Uh, and then if you want more Kirby action, and more bonking, uh, and more Gasha. Uh, that will be on Wednesday night next week. I'm going to have to hold my, uh, addictions of Gacha and bonking things until then. Alright. In the meantime, let's see who is live at the moment. I wonder if we can read something. I can't really think of anyone to raid tonight. Doesn't look like any of my friends are online. So I think I think we'll just call it there for tonight. That's alright. 
don't have to rain all the time, you know. <laughs> I know, I know some people may not like that attitude, but still. I think we'll call it there for tonight. Alright, have a good night, everybody. Oh, you just saw my tail flick on the screen there for a second. <laughs> and I will see you all on Monday night for Super Mario All-Stars. And if you want more Kirby, hats on Wednesday. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>